limousines. Where are they going? They don't care. For it's Swiss countryside they're going through, those old-fashioned people in old-fashioned cars. For the Swiss are even more curio-crazy than the English. In England, the London to Brighton rally is a spectacle. Here, such pastimes are thoroughly in keeping with the national character. For an Englishman, a Sunday afternoon joyride like this would be sufficient. But the Swiss are tireless in their efforts to recapture yesterday. All over Switzerland are museums, transport museums, that are always a clamour with Swiss excitement. But engines, however old, however gleaming, only send the Swiss further afield for new sights for their present scorning eyes to feast on. So this musical box land provides balloons. Who wants jet planes? Who wants speed? Certainly not the past-loving, peace-loving people who sit in the middle of Europe and make faces at the pent-up world around. Preparations almost completed. But hurry is today's worry. You relax and enjoy this glimpse of time gone by. The time has come. Takeoff time. A takeoff as slow and as graceful as a time forgotten by most. And have you thought that today we have only seconds to say goodbye? If you think of it, a departure should be a slow, lingering affair. And who but the peaceful Swiss would ask, with such innocence, what happens when the balloon goes up?